All right, this is just to show the, the jam stick on a guitar stand. I did have to switch guitar stands, and this one has different settings on it, so it works perfectly. But the shape of the bottom of the jam stick kind of made it hard to get it right. On the other guitar stand, it would fall over all the time. It was, it was fine in the case, which adds a little more stability. But still, I didn't want it to fall over. So let me show it with the cables plugged in. If you leave them plugged in, I've both ways. I've unplugged them and left them plugged in. And I don't know if I had the right side. See? Works fine that way. And it's the same size there. It's a little dip for the um, guitar strap. Another cool feature of the Jamstick Studio MIDI guitar is the pick tray that comes out. And your pick's right at the end of the guitar. It's fantastic. All right, I'm going to briefly talk about the Jamstick and some things I've noticed. Um, one, I contacted uh, Jamstick about my neck. My frets were sticking out of the side, and there was actually a video how to sand it down. Now, uh, I waited a few weeks and was hoping the humidity would correct it in the house, and it did. I barely, I mean, I noticed it a little bit if I'm really like on the edge here. I still might want to take care of it, but I mean, for the most part, sliding around the neck, no problem. I don't know, it seemed all right. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I haven't done that yet, but I, I need to look into it a little further, but um, they were very responsive and helpful with it. And I, I should mention too, that I had one of the very first jam sticks to come out, not the very first, but you know what I mean, the first batch. And they've since had corrected whatever would have been different with these frets. I mean, I feel it right there, but my hands are big. The neck is not, so. Need a pick. I'm gonna get my handy pick tray out. Grab a pick. So yeah, um, one thing I just did for the first time too is the locking nut for the what do you call those things? Straps. The car straps. And they just pull out. Slide it right on. I think this is how I use them. I don't even know, to be honest with you. Slide on, and now it extends from the body a little more. So even if it's not for that purpose. So I noticed I had some kind of something, I don't know if I got knocked out in shipping or what. There's something loose inside, but it's fully functional, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Here's what I like to keep in the Jamstick bag. I just keep the manual. I keep this little sack that came with it. And I keep the Allen wrenches in there. And then the three picks you see there, I usually keep in the pick tray inside the guitar. I keep the one millimeter ones inside the neck at all times, just in case I need to adjust the MIDI pickup because it's one millimeter from the string. And then I have the, the locking strap pegs and then the USB-C to A converter adapter thing which comes in handy if you forget a cable. Capo, Ebo, truss rod tool, that's it. That's all I keep in there. Oh and then the cables I'll grab those. Here's the cables I like to keep with it. Quarter inch guitar and then the USB-C to A jamstick charging cable and this uh, wall work, you need a little higher one. This one charges slower, it's for iPhone. If you use an iPad one, it'd be good. 
I don't think I've ever talked about the, the bag, the case that comes with the jam stick. It's pretty sweet. It's got a lot of room here in the pouch. It's where I put all my picks and things. And it's padding. It's nice. Feels good. It's small enough. It's still smaller than a regular guitar of the case. Um, it sits good on the um, guitar stand. Like I said before, there is, on some stands, it's not going to sit perfectly. You have to find the sweet spot. It might be annoying, but you'll get it. It's it's not. This one it needs to be a little bigger, I think. But yeah, if it's too wide, then it leans over a little bit. There, that's the sweet spot. I mean, it's, a, it's nothing. It doesn't really matter. You know, all guitars have something. But now... I go over too far that I'm blocking the cable, so I put a little smaller so that I can hang over the side a little bit. That makes sense. Still, on the, I have cats, so I gotta make sure that's secure. I noticed after my last video, this guitar is dirty. So I'm just using a dry, not microfiber, but just cleaning cloth. Get it off some dust and dirt, and also something that's been driving me nuts for a while and I only think of it when I'm doing a video. Get rid of these pieces of plastic that are on these pickups. Nice, nice and shiny, look at that. Ooh. And while cleaning it, I see on the back, pretty good, but there's another piece of plastic I never took off. Mind you, I've had this thing over six months. I can't seem to get this one off. Is there two layers on there? There's some bubble in there. I don't know if that is. Let's look at it closer. Show you this little tool for tuning. It's right in here. It's magnetic. Give me this view better. Stays right in there. And then, of course, to tune. You have to pull it out, set it down if you're holding the guitar. And only there's probably an easier way to do this, but I'm just the way I normally do it. I tune it as I'm holding the guitar, the regular, I'm right-handed, so I hold it like this. So it's, it's down here, so when I pluck a string, if I'm using my right hand to pluck the string, string, I have to like move my hand to, to tune it. But I mean, you just use the other hand, it's not a big deal.